Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be talking about how to get an apprenticeship um, and a, which is an electrical apprenticeship. So if you're looking to become an electrical engineer or just become an electrician this is probably the easiest way to actually find one and I'm going to go through the process of the best ways to actually do it. So I'm going to show you exactly if I was looking for an apprenticeship how to do it. I, have, I myself have worked in the industry recruiting for apprenticeships so I know what people look for and um, when they're looking for and what companies are going to be asking as well talk about um, a bit about the process as well what you're going to expect and how to actually find one and what it's going to look like for you so chances are if you've just left school college or you've done a, a you know college qualification you may have a level two or three um, in electrical engineering or a subject similar and you want to actually do an apprenticeship rather than go to university so the first thing you want to do is obviously secure one so it works the same way as a job now companies will obviously be looking for particular candidates and depending on your area now I'm based in Ipswich so I when I search obviously things come up um, local to me so I just typed in electrical apprenticeship there's obviously other keywords you can put in your town location so if we just go Birmingham for example um, first thing that will come up is obviously apprenticeships now some of these are degree apprenticeships um, and you want to obviously look into those now I would obviously use indeed now the reason I probably would use indeed um, is the reasoning behind it because people will be looking to post um, their things now companies can post for free on here so sometimes they're not actually looking they're just seeing what's out there and they might just waste your time so obviously something like this um, an advanced apprenticeship um, you can look at um, as well as a, an electrical apprenticeship here so you would just apply obviously register for indeed as well I'll put a link um, in the description below so you can have a look um, I would recommend using CV library which I'll put a link where you can upload your CV and they have a good scheme where um, employers actually email you so based on that you know you just upload your CV say you're looking for an apprenticeship um, an electrical apprenticeship and people will obviously contact you from there so I'll put a link in the description for that and um, what I would obviously do is look at these sort of websites as well so this is obviously a training provider now there's two ways you can do it now these the way I showed you to apply is probably direct so this is obviously a company and um, that you'll be looking to apply direct to however if you want to go through a training provider so if you type in training providers it will show you training providers local to you now these sort of training providers they work closely with businesses so businesses go to them and they actually provide the training side which is you know the classroom based learning and um, they'll find you a placement with an employer so it's pretty much a free service so they'll contact you send you for an interview and um, with an employer local to you you'll have an interview and from there they'll book you in on a training course now just taking J TL as an example I've never worked with them don't know anything about them so first thing to do is obviously just check and um, they've got your sort of apprenticeship so they've got you know plumbing and um, heating property as well maintenance and if they do a few sort of engineering um, so in this section you can see employers will contact them to take on and um, becoming an apprenticeship and um, you would click apply now and I'm guessing there's going to be a form you might have to add your CV at the end and um, not too particular you know not not the longest of forms um, but what I would suggest is go online and just find a number of these sort of um, training providers so you know I'm just opening these and then we, yeah we can have a look so it's probably the similar um, to this join find a member maybe this is not the best one so some of these websites are obviously quite different so there should be an apply now section possibly or you can obviously email them give them a call and um, from there um, so this is much better this actually shows you you know companies actually recruiting for it so we can try central car which is British gas um, and you can apply from there so just do that how to pay um, yeah jobs this company obviously has their jobs rewarded um, advertise so yeah obviously look into training providers and yeah apply online and um, through there so what you'd expect afterwards is probably they'll give you a call 
they'll either email you um, inviting you in for an assessment day now training providers usually do assessment days employees usually do interviews and assessment days once you pass an assessment day it will probably consist of an English and maths test um, maybe IT or some sort of functional skills test it will be online probably take you about half an hour 40 minutes um, I would suggest going online and practicing those as well beforehand like a functional skills test they would want you to come out on probably a level two which is going to be you know a, a national average of four or national grade four and um, which is a, a C grade GCSE so have a look at those prepare for that and obviously there'll be a short interview afterwards but most of it is based on functional skills um, on that to see if you can get a level two or three apprenticeship and yeah good luck let me know if you've got any questions around that I'll be more than happy to help